Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for February. So this is for February 2019 for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind it may not resonate right now, it may resonate later, it may not resonate at all because there's no way I can read for every single person. This is for Gemini, February, what do we got? What do we have for Gemini? Looks like somebody's working really, really hard. To move in a new direction right there's a lot of mental anguish though there's a lot of thoughts uh, geez some um, too much overwhelming I mean take a look at that fears too much going on right now it's like one thing right after another it's overwhelming Okay, somebody is overwhelmed. It's like, man, there's just, will it, can we just shut down for a minute? Can we just shut down these thoughts? It's a little too much. Somebody is really discontent with the situation they're in, really not happy about it. Not happy about the situation they're in. It's like, damn, why am I doing this? Why am I still doing this? It's like I'm waiting for something to change and it's never going to change. And it looks like you're putting in a lot of work. It's like you're working really, really hard to keep things afloat. But you could be dealing with somebody who's not really putting in much effort at all and they're distracting you. Could be a son, could be a person, could be could be a child, could be anybody, it could be a daughter, could be anybody who just isn't putting in effort at all. This person has no focus and they're distracting. And they're like there's so definitely a feeling of being overly emotional. It's like somebody doesn't even see what you're doing, it's like they don't appreciate you, they don't even care. And it's overwhelming. It's heavy. It's like it's so much. It's so heavy. I mean, that's a heavy load. It's like you're carrying a really, really heavy load. And it's like you, you, you're you used to carrying this heavy load, aren't you? You're really carrying. You're used to it. It looks like you're taking it wherever you go, too. And you're losing things along the way. It's like, Damn. And you're trying to figure out, you're trying to figure out, is this something that is going to last or not? Is this something that's going to last? What is, where does my, what, what do I have in my future? Is this going to lead to commitment? Is this going to lead to marriage? Is this going to last? <laughs> yeah, it looks like you might be thinking about breaking free from something. Because it's so overwhelming. It is. Okay, I'm going to just quote 10. 10, 10, all right together. 10 of pentacles, 10 of swords, 10 of wands. 10, 10, 10, completion, completion, completion. Somebody is thinking about ending something that is overwhelming. It's too much. It's like, damn, this is heavy. It's it's causing uh, headaches, maybe even migraines, um, sleepless nights for sure. It's like, it's... I, it's overwhelming. It is overwhelming. Okay, it really is. And somebody is thinking, you know what, I think I might need to break free from this. I might need to emotionally withdraw after putting in so much hard work. 
this other person lacks focus and desire to even do anything. It's like they're lazy. And, and you're like, why, why am I having to do all this? Why? And it's, it's kind of like a little irritating that you're doing all the work and whoever it is that you're dealing with is like playing games. It's like, what? Yeah, it's like, man. It's like, you know, okay? You know. You know, you've been searching for the answers and the answers have been coming to you. They have been coming to you. I think that you have been receiving all the answers that you need regarding the situation, but you may be right now just, uh, you know, biding your time or keeping those answers hidden within you to really uh, come to the conclusion if what you're hearing is true. You could be dealing with a person, could be an Aries, could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you, you, whoever you're dealing with, they are uh, manipulative and they are controlling, uh, kind of uh, maybe even OCD-ish, you know. Whoever this person is, they are very, very cunning. They don't want to put in any effort. They want you to do all the work. But they portray themselves as being the boss, or they portray themselves as being in control, or they portray themselves as being, you know, wanting that family, wanting that commitment. You know, they portray themselves as everything that they are not. Very manipulative, whoever this person is. Um, whoever you're dealing with, whoever this person is, they are very dominating put it that way who is this person anyway why is this emperor here reversed why is this emperor here reversed just things are so chaotic this person loves it too by the way they love the attention you're getting or that you're giving them i don't know if this is a narcissist or what they may have pretended they wanted a relationship or pretended they wanted kids and a family and a dog and a no whole nine yards. And they really don't have any desire to, to put any effort into it. They don't want to do any of the work. Yeah, they don't want to do any of the work. You are, I'm absolutely right. I am. They don't want to put in any effort. It's like they, they you know see that you're doing it they see that you're doing it so they're gonna let you do it you know they see through the telescope isn't that funny you know and I feel like I feel like not only do they see you know, they see that you're doing all the work and they think that they're getting away with it. They think that they are in control. I also feel like you see. I feel like you do. With that high priestess we had on the bottom, I think you know. I think that you know whoever this person is is lazy. I think you see that, okay? I think you see that this person is lazy. And I think you're probably a little upset about it. You're a little upset that you wasted your time. But I think you also see that you have a better opportunity out there in this world. I think that you, ha you see that you have a better opportunity for something stable and solid. And that you are about to make some sort of change. I think that right now you're in the process of getting prepared to give somebody the boot. That's what it looks like to me. And I feel like the case is, is that whoever you're dealing with isn't really putting in any effort at all. They're lazier than hell. And they're controlling, too. It's like they, 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 they talk the talk and they don't walk the walk. They're full of shit. Anyhow, I feel as though you have an opportunity. It's like, I want something stable. I want something I can save.
and I feel like you guys are about to make some make some sort of final decision, right? You may be deciding. This is another. This is the biggest completion of them all. The world card. It's like, yeah, I learned my lesson. I see what's going on here. I have a better opportunity on the horizon because that's what's coming in. If somebody sees that they have a better opportunity somewhere else in this world. Now this is a completion that leads to a new beginning. So it looks like you are pro you may decide to leave somebody out in the cold or or something like that because you realize that you've got a better opportunity for victory and success. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like you're beginning to realize that you have to walk away from people that want to fight with you. People that are just here to control. People that want to win at no, any cost and don't care who they hurt. I think you're about to defend yourself. Take that power. It's like, you know what? I got to defend myself here. Because I want that ultimate wish fulfillment. So I really feel as though somebody is going after wish fulfillment. And they're about to deal with some sort of conflict with these fives. It's like I'm going to face the conflict. She's going to buy her sword, this woman is. I'm going to buy my sword. This is It's time to fight for myself. Not let this prick win, whoever it is. Anyway, it looks like somebody is hoping for a better future, and it looks like they're seeing things clearly to me. Yeah, it's like I'd rather be alone. I'd rather be alone. I'd rather I need to I need to take a break. I need to get out of this situation and wake up from this. You know, I need to come up with another plan. I think that what well, that's what's happening here. Somebody is being divinely guided seriously because this is protection. To find their wish fulfillment someplace else. And this may be somebody at a distance. I think there's an opportunity to come together with somebody at a distance. Yes. There is. It is. Take a risk and do something you've never done before. Start over in a new direction, like a new destination. It looks to me as though somebody is realizing that there's hope for a brighter future. There's a hope for a brighter future in a new place, a new destination. Somebody sees that the world is big. Because that's pointed right, it was pointed right at the world. I, you know, I see a great big world out there and I'm ready to take this risk. I'm ready to take that leap. I'm ready to start over. On my own. On my own. I'm going on my own. We have somebody here that is totally deciding to go, by, go on their own. I'm not kidding, okay? Somebody is deciding to go on their own after being trapped in a situation that was very controlling and belittling and heavy and uh, overwhelming. Very, very overwhelming. It's like you're doing it on your all on your own anyway. It looks like somebody's about to fly away, about to move on. But what's the overall outcome? What's the overall outcome after this person takes this risk? Takes this risk and finalizes this situation because that's what this is it's like the lesson has been learned with the fool to the world it's like yeah but it go but the fool, world came out first so ending brings about a new beginning it really does when somebody blocks somebody is going to have to block communication Starting fresh, cutting out this dumbass, whoever it is. And I'm determined. I'm determined to, to go my own way. Proud of who I am. Somebody is determined 
to break free of a bad, this is break free of a bad situation, of an overwhelming situation. Determined to deal with the conflict. So I do see somebody here that has a lot of determination to prevail against an immature person who only wants to really like pretend that they're it when they aren't it. Whoever this person is, this person is lazy and controlling and full of it. Not in love, okay? Whoever this person is, it's not about love. <clears throat> it's not. It's not. This person's being cut out. We have somebody that is going to be cut out that is emotionally unavailable. And this person doesn't isn't who they say they were. They were filling somebody up with a pile of shit. And I think who you know it. I think you know it. I think that you're determined to just trot on out of here. It's like, you know what? You take your fucking load and shove it up your whatever. Anyway, sorry that slipped. Um Yeah, this is a dead end situation. I'm leaving it. I wanna I wanna I wanna live. I wanna be happy. I wanna come out of this misery. Taking back my power. And letting you go. So I think that you guys are going to let somebody go. In February. Something that's no longer stable. And you're going to head in a new direction. You're heading out of this situation. That's what's happening. To a new beginning. I want to clarify this world card. Completion of a chapter in your life. Seriously. Something that impacted you is ending. And you are beginning again. And that is all there is to it. Yeah, you are breaking free. You're taking back the power. You're taking back control. You're breaking free from this manipulative person. I don't know who it is. But with the devil reversed and the emperor reversed, you are dealing with a master manipulator in which you are taking back your power. And that is no joke. And it looks like you are basically starting over someplace else. You're free. It's like breaking that bond. You are breaking a bond with somebody that was toxic. Seriously. There's no joke. You are dealing with a toxic individual that is being thrown away. Because you are strong enough. You know that you need to. It's time. It's time to heal. It's time to let... So you, you need somebody to take care of you too, right? You are dealing with a master manipulator. And you have to take back your power. And that is exactly what this is about. This month, you are taking back your power. And finding peace on your own. That's what it looks like to me. Making that judgment call. Releasing the past. Releasing what no longer serves you. Accepting. Forgiving. Somebody's had a major wake-up call here. It's like the truth is, is being accepted. And somebody's moving on. Like moving on, moving, moving, moving to a better place. I'm taking the reins back in my own hands. So what I see, Gemini, is that you guys are releasing a toxic master manipulator. Okay? There's no joke about it. There is it with the devil, the magician, and the emperor reversed. And breaking free and starting over. Uh, I'd rather be alone. I need to take. A, I need to get away from this situation. I'm gonna master my emotions, and I'm riding the hell out of here. Looks like you guys are in complete control of your emotions, and you are taking the lead. It's like you're taking back your life. You're in charge. You're the king of the road. This is a time when you guys are replacing fear with strength. That's what's happening. And you're taking back that power that has been lost from somebody who 
It was really hard. It was really hard. This person really just stripped it, stripped you clean. It's like so overwhelming and it's just like you tried so hard to make this work. But it's like now, now you guys are just like, you know what? I'm moving forward. It's time for my transformation. It's time for my new beginning. I'm not going to stay in this one-sided situation anymore. So I don't know who that is for. Is there new love? Is there new love? No. I don't see it. Sorry. I don't. Does anybody else? Can somebody pretend? I don't think they can. This is about leaving something so that you can find love. That's what it is. It's about traveling to that new destination. That is no joke. Somebody is literally getting in their vehicle and getting the hell out. Moving. Packing up and moving. Seriously. And I ain't taking that shit with me. Starting over fresh at zero. Literally starting over in a new direction, Gemini. That's what's happening with you this month. Congratulations. And you know, this is victory and success. The world card is too. You are headed right towards victory and success if you can just take this leap. Take this risk. It's better to be alone than to be with somebody that is abusive. In the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. Let go of the shore. Enter the flow. You're moving into a period of gracious ease and flow. All is unfolding perfectly and with good timing. Everything is falling into place because you aren't resisting the drift of the great river of life. Enjoy the ride. This isn't time to try to control the events of your life. Let the Creator support you. You don't have to do it all yourself. The glory of the universe flows through you. It's not always easy to let go of the shore. However, this card is urging you to take that risk and let go. Did I not tell you that? It's time to go. And that's what I got. <laughs>